Okay, I don't know if anybody else is having this issue, but in Xcode 7, I am downloading crash logs and they're only partially symbolicated. So it's taken me a while and a bit of searching to figure out how to fix this, at least how to partially fix it, and recording this video for myself in case I need to do it again in the future. So my instructions I'm going to include under the video and I'm going to go through them now. So the first thing I've done is created a folder called crash stuff and I have put these instructions in it. So I'm going to go through them. Uh, we need three things in this folder. We need the .dsym file that relates to the crash files. We need the symbolicate crash script and we need the .crash file that we want to symbolicate. So to get the d.sym file in Xcode, the crashes that I'm looking at are for, if you look on the right, um, release 2.1.5, build 203. So in the archives, I need to locate that. And then I'm going to right click it and show in Finder. And then I'm going to right click on the XC archive, show package contents, find the dot dsym and copy it to my crash stuff folder. That's step one. Then we want the symbolicate crash script, which is something that comes with Xcode. So for Xcode 7, I'm copying this um, path. And then in Finder, I'm going to do a new Finder window and go to folder, paste in that address, and then copy the symbolicate crash file into my crash stuff folder. And then we want the crash file. So back in Xcode on the crashes, this one here, which is has it symbolicated for my app, I'm going to right click, show in Finder. And then I'm going to right click and show package contents and drill down in here to the logs and find the .crash file. Then I'm going to copy this into my crash stuff folder. So they're the three things that we needed. So next up, I'm going to open terminal and change directory to my crash stuff there. And then I'm going to run um, this command export developer there. Uh, that should be the same for you if Xcode's in the standard place. So let's run that. And then we are going to symbolicate our crash file. So what I'm going to do is rename this to just my.crash so the script is quicker. And then I'm just going to copy and paste this command. So the only thing that you would need to change would be instead of polynome.app.com dsym that would be whatever the name of your .dsym file was and then i'm going to run that command in terminal and it creates my symbolicated crash report and then i want to copy this back to where we got it from and i want it to have the name that we had originally so i'm going to copy that name i'm actually going to delete this you could name it something else if you wanted going to rename this to what it was and put it in there. And now when we go back to Xcode, you see this is unsymbolicated, but if I click off and come back, it now says missing symbol, which is not ideal. But what this does mean is that I can actually go and find the line of code now. So if I click on the arrow uh, and I open this in the version of the project that I used to make that original build. So whenever I upload to Apple, I zip up my directory so I can open it in there. And all of these ones that have null in will take me to the relevant lines. So even though it's not showing me the codes on here, I can actually get to them, which is more than I can do on one of these, for example. So yeah, that's where I've got up to. If anybody's got any better suggestions than that, I would love to hear them. Um, I hope that helps somebody.